Hey guys, how's it going? So just before we start this tutorial, I just want to say I am by no means a professional in hardcore music. However, I do know a thing or two which might help you on making melodies or synths itself. We're not going to do synths this time, but we are going to do melodies. So if we just throw in a silent one, we're just going to use a couple preset sounds because we don't really need to uh, go too much in depth. This is just like mainly about the theory and stuff. Maybe not, maybe not like too much detail, just me getting a melody out and showing you how I did it. So if we just call this the lead. We're off to a good start already. Right, we're just a lot of preset. Uh, vandalism presets are pretty good, they uh, sound really nice. Uh, well what you want to do, well what you want to do is completely your choice, but what I normally do when I'm making hardcore music is I normally cut off all of the low end up to the bass because uh, how do you how do you word this? Right, hardcore music is more about the bass pumping, isn't it? So if you just cut off all of the low end, you've got more room to actually play with those frequencies when you're actually doing it on the kick drum and the bass synth. Synth, yeah, the bass is a synth, isn't it? Depending on what you use, anyway. Um, anyway, th this is just to cut off the unwanted frequencies. Uh, you normally get rid of the high end if you want. The, the, the high end is completely choice, but I do recommend doing the low end because it just helps boost up these. I don't know if this actually does any. I don't know if this just boosts up the volume like these do, or if it actually boosts up the frequencies. But I just do it anyway. I, even if it does do something wrong, then you can always just change it. Um, I normally throw six up to. I don't know. Yeah. Okay. That sounds pretty good. Um, like I said, these are just preset sounds, so they are going to sound good anyway. But we're just going to throw a bit of delay on it because the delay. Is pretty awesome. Apart from that, um, we've pretty much got everything that we need. If you, if you want to add in a bass and throw some bass notes in, then go ahead. But this is just like this is just strictly to the melody. Uh, we'll, we will do like bass notes in the melody, but uh, they'll be like. Um, wait, how do you, how do you explain it? I I'll have to, I'll have to show you because I don't know what the word is, but th there is a word for it. I'm guessing. So we'll do we'll do A minor because A minor is a very nice chord uh, chord progression because it's just all the white notes. If you want to do C major, C major is pretty good. It's all the white notes too. But A minor is the uh, I, I normally hear majors in happy hardcore, but minors are very popular in UK hardcore. So just depending on which one you want to go for is which one you choose. Uh, that's pretty. I, I think I'm explaining that right. Hopefully, if I am, if you guys disagree with me on anything, just feel free to comment it because there is no right or wrong way. It's just it's fun to learn what other people do. Anyway, we'll start on A minor, and then we'll go to. As you know, what, for the sake of this tutorial, we'll just do a four chord thing, but we'll we'll just make it a bit more mysterious. Just one more thing guys, you normally, in hardcore music, most of the time you want to throw up your BPM to around 170 or 175. It's completely up to you which one you choose, but if you're using vocals or something, you might want to think about the vocalist and if they can sing that fast. Uh, let's do this, so... Okay, if, if you see the video speed up, it's because I'm not talking too much and I'm just trying to get the melody out. So, I'm, I'm just going to try and concentrate on the melody. It, it, it can take a very long time to get your melody out when you're first starting off. I've, I've uh, used FL Studio for a couple of years now, and I still find it a little bit tricky to think of a catchy melody, but it, it does come to you in time. So, time is, time is key, basically. Thank <laughs> you. 
So as far as I know, that is a pretty basic melody. I don't know if you guys think of the, thinking that that sounds okay. It's not very um, hardcore-ish with uh, the amount of like small notes, like the um, I don't I don't know what what these notes are actually called. I'm not, there's actually big fancy words for them. I think there's like quavers and uh, stuff. I only remember quavers because there's crisps called quavers, so it's really easy. Um, so th this is pretty much a basic melody. If you want to make it a bit more complex and throw in some small notes, then feel free to because... Uh, well, fr from what I can tell, it does make it sound a little bit more interesting. Okay, maybe maybe not on the bass notes. I don't. I don't. If you can make the bass notes sound good, then by all means do it. But I am by no means a professional in this, so I do not know how to. Anyway, um, this is sounding pretty good. You can add like reverb stuff and just uh, make it sound a little bit nicer. Okay, you, you obviously don't just add in a reverb and then change this knob because that's just not how it works. But if, if you can make the reverb work, then by all means do it. But normally on things like Silent 1, you do have reverb built in. So it's just a, a lot simpler. You've got your size, your pre-delay, your width, your damp, your dry and your wet. I normally have that on halfway actually. So I don't know why that was... Oh yeah, I picked a preset, didn't I? Um, yeah, so by all means, just use a preset sound, get your melody out, and then after you've got your melody, you start on your synth. Uh, we might do that next tutorial, if not we will do something to do with bass or probably neither of those and something completely different but hopefully this just showed you that you can just get a melody out really quick with a 4-4 four, four beat and a 4 chord progression. Um, nothing too complex, nothing too, um, too challenging but this is just kind of aimed at the beginners because when I wanted to start making hardcore music, there was just nothing out there. So hopefully this kind of gave you a little bit of a tip with um, just just using octaves. Just use octaves. Um, kind of add some little notes in. Make it go higher and lower. It's completely up to you guys, but just as, as long as you've got your good synth, um, it should sound okay. And I was just thinking then, maybe a pitch bend would sound pretty good. Okay, no, that didn't sound good. Uh, I'm pretty sure you guys could get that working, but just for now, this is the melody. Hopefully, I use this melody in the next tutorial whilst adding a bass, and hopefully it just becomes this big, progressive song. But if not, we'll just do something completely different, and if you want, you can comment below and tell me what you guys want to see. Thank you very much for watching.